Good afternoon. I'm coming to you by video today, which I hadn't planned to do given that tomorrow is our spring break uh, for many of our employees. But I was moved by the tragedy in Georgia in which eight innocent people were senselessly killed by gunmen at several businesses. Given that six of the victims were identified as Asian or Asian American, this tragedy highlights a rising tide of violence against people of Asian descent in our nation. And I'm grateful that our county executive reached out quickly and has offered increased protections and resources to local Asian communities in Montgomery County. I want to echo his condolences to the families and remind everyone that bigotry and hate have no place in our county's communities and particularly in the classrooms and workspaces of Montgomery College. Now, some observers have linked this violence to the rhetoric blaming the coronavirus on Asians since it was first identified in China. Such claims are specious and only encourage people with a penchant for bigotry. No ethnic group is responsible for the spread of COVID, which is now worldwide. This is a vivid example of how racism is tolerated and even encouraged and how it can impact people who are unbalanced. It is not escaping me that we are in the midst of Women's History Month and that the victims in this case appear to be targeted as well because they were women. Misogyny and racism are a virulent combination that is a crippling reality for many of us. And if we don't call out these forces when we see them, we only affirm them. Now, I ask each of you to watch out for our colleagues, our friends, and our students of Asian descent, particularly in this moment. And if you hear or see something that doesn't sound right, speak up. That's how we build communities in which discrimination and hatred can't put down roots. I'm proud of Montgomery College's continuing efforts to build an anti-racist institution. And I'm grateful for our partners in the county government who are equally committed and for the climate of equity and inclusion on our campuses. With the black Asian American woman elected vice president of the United States for the first time just this year, I am hopeful that there is more awareness in the White House of what it means to be equitable, safer, and to promote that within our communities. But it ultimately falls on each one of us as well. And I hope you will join me in those efforts. I hope that each of you has a safe and healthy weekend, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Be well.